Oh, Inflection finally released an update that allows you to install Nightingale as a dedicated server. I've been waiting for this for forever. You know, since even before it was out on early access. Basically since I first heard of the game. I just need to have it on my server. So this bit's pretty much for you guys, for those who have your own servers, or maybe even just a spare computer somewhere and you want to host Nightingale on it. Those of you who want to purchase a server, you can do it at Gportal, and I've linked them down in the description. Anyway, here is my server. It's just Windows 11, nothing fancy. For those running Linux or Mac, you know, the process is more or less the same, and you probably know more than me, and you just want the Steam app ID. That's also down in the description. There's a few things that we're going to need before we start. The first is Steam command, and you're going to want to get it at this URL here. In contents, it shows which OS's it can be installed on. Just click whichever one you're using. For Windows, it's pretty easy. You just download a zip and then put that into some folder somewhere. Linux people, you get to use a repo. I unzipped all my files here in this specific folder called Steam Command straight off the C drive. It just needs to be pretty easy to access. You're also going to want a specific folder where you install this. I put mine under C drive servers. It could be under its own folder if you really want. Just try not to use program files because those have special sets of permissions that we don't really need to deal with. So in here, I'm just going to make a new folder. Call it Nightingale. Next, we're going to need a command line interface. I use Commander because it's intuitive and nice to look at. You can get it at this URL. But honestly, you can install whatever CLI you want. The Nightingale Steam app ID is 37968110. Then we're going to need to call the Steam command. Command. We're going to want to log in anonymous here, and not under any specific account. Then we tell it which folder to install into. Then we plug in the Nightingale app ID here. And finally we tell it to stop. Now before you hit enter there, just copy all of that real quick. Make sure it's on your clipboard. Once it gets going, you should see something like this, a progress meter basically. Alright, once it's done, we should see success and that our cursor comes back. What we want to do now is go into our Nightingale server. And you could run the server right now, but that's probably going to be pretty insecure. Let's do some config first. Under nwx slash config, there's an example of server settings here. Let's just copy it. And all we do is name it server settings. You can now open this up in your favorite text editor. Like You could use Notepad if you want. I personally like Sublime Text. And once it opens up, you see three settings. Starting difficulty, password, and admin password. You're obviously going to want to change the password ones. Like, you know, if you want to change your password to I do like me some peanuts by Jove. They are great. Try and guess that. Admin password is really for those who need to use console commands, and I suggest you do something similar for this. You know, Something like, uh, no pecans are the best. What are you, a plebeian? Perfect. Now let's go back up here to the Nightingale folder. I'm going to want to make a new text document here. We'll call this update.bat. This is a batch file, which means it's going to run certain things. It's basically a script. Go ahead and paste in that command we had earlier. And what this does is if the game updates, we can simply run an update from this batch file. Well, not quite yet. We need to actually add the scripting to this. So here I've just added some lines to signal on the CLI what, it, what it's actually doing. It's super simple, just something quick to help you manage your server. Next, we're going to want to do the same thing except about starting the server. We're going to want a link of this nwx.server. To do that, you do right click and copy as path. And we paste that here right after start. The quotes are okay there, but it's probably better to remove it, just to reduce the amount of problems we're going to see. You can reiterate the port number here by typing dash port equals, and then the port number. And if you have to specify exactly which IP address you're using, you just type in dash multi-home equals, and then you put your IP here. If you want to allow your admins to use the debug commands, then you're going to have to add enable cheats here on the command line. And to run it, we can just double click the batch file, or we can run it on the command line.
So what we're going to want to do now is open up Nightingale. If you haven't already downloaded your characters, you should probably do that now. Then we simply go and play whatever character we want on our server. All we do is join the game. And instead of going to a Steam friend, we're going to be connecting directly to an IP address. You can figure out what your IP address is by going to whatsmyip.com. And then we just type in whatever password we've got set. Oh, and if it takes a while for you to log into the game, I just recommend a little patience. Because your server has to do a lot of stuff. It's got to download the files, it's got to process them however it needs to. It should only take a few minutes. If you do run into connection problems though, like it keeps throwing you like a network error or something, it might be because you have to do some configuration on your router. You might also want to add the port to your IP tables or to Windows Defender. Well, here we are. The game in our server. Isn't that cool? I mean, it's not on some server way out in nowhere, right? But also, we're going to play a little bit later. We just wanted to kind of log in and see if things are working alright. And they seem to be. For now, we need to go back into the server just to do some final stuff. So let's quit out. Honestly, all we're going to do is just to make sure that our character actually got downloaded. To do that, we go back to our Nightingale folder, into NWX, saved, and then offline. And this string of numbers is the server instance. You could take this entire offline folder and save it like, and back it up somewhere. I mean, I know they make their own offline backup, but you can also make your own. And you can also... You can make another batch file that that just saves your profile. And so far that's it. That's all you really need to know. They may change it in the future so that you can set server names, and then that way they can show which actual servers are up there, and what people can, can join, whatever. Otherwise you give people your IP address, the port number, and the server password. And that's all they need to connect to you. Anyway, hope you all found that useful. Thanks for watching. Please sub for more. And I'll see you in the next one. Peace.